It's the final day of our 30 days of improv quilt along. Carrie Canary Quilts and we are on our final day of the 30 days of improv quilt along. We have done four weeks and we have done 20 blocks. This is the final week and with this week we worked with curves as you can obviously tell. Today was kind of a free-for-all day. Just take what you learned. Well actually it suggested negative space. That's about it. I, I tried. I just think you really need a bigger block. Um, five and a half inches is pretty hard to figure that out with. I tend to build one piece at a time out where maybe if I made a bigger block I could cut down to a smaller block and maybe get some of that. That's not the way I did it so I kind of did a little free-for-all. I used uh, I kind of taught myself how to cut new uh, curves not the way that they showed us but to cut the uh, new curves out here so I did that, I did some, this was a big curve that was kind of an um, oval that I ended up just cutting because it was just too big to put in there. So these are my five blocks for this week. <laughs> I still like this one the best. And I think I told you yesterday, I was probably gonna redo this one and I did. I did a little bit less slicing and dicing and this is what I came up with and I like it a whole lot better than this one. I just, I don't like that block. So I just threw this together with leftover scraps from here, leftover scraps from, I believe this one. Yeah, just all of them, just leftover scraps. I didn't cut any new fabric for this. Yeah, I like how the curves, you can see the curve, you can kind of see the curve here. So I like it better than this one. I'm gonna replace it. It still was a learning experience. It always is a learning experience. So I am so happy that I did this. I was very nervous. Um, it helped that the co-host gave you tips on what to do. Uh, they did a few videos on how they do them. One of the co-hosts is not doing five and a half inch blocks. She's doing bigger blocks. I chose the five and a half inch. That was my choice. I wanted smaller blocks. They suggested that, um, but again, it's improv, so you can do whatever you want. But yeah, it really has uh, given me a different perspective on how fabric goes together, how to cut fabric, how to work with angles, and lends it, that experience lends itself to patterns that I'm working on. So it really has been fun. Um, if you've been following along with me, I really appreciate it. I'm so glad that you have watched. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, notification bell. We do fun stuff like this all the time. I um, have a lot of quilt alongs. Uh, I have some patterns in my free resource library that you can check out in the link down below. And uh, yeah, check out the other links I got. I've got links to the fabric too. So thanks so much for watching these videos and let's get started on this block. Okay, I'm on day five of the 30 days of improv quilt along. This is week four. This is the last day of the quilt along. This week we're working with curves. We've done a lot of things with them. Yesterday was slice and dice, the day before was uh, I think a big hump, and Tuesday was small pieces. So today is trying, the tip is to work with negative space. So let's see what I can come up with. I am not too sure, I'm gonna assume this is my negative space. Let me just see what I come up with. I'm not too sure myself. So <laughs> that's how I've been this whole week. Um, but anyway, the best way to start is to layer your pieces with right sides up against each other like this. You can feel where the edge of this piece is and then you just wanna like cut your curves out of that. You will use these two pieces that are left, flip them over, put them together. That's how it's been working. Let me get started with this. Let me see what I can come up with.
trimmed my block down to five and a half inches and this is what I ended up with. And these were curves, but when you start cutting them down, they don't look like curves here. I think what I found out this week is that a five and a half inch block is pretty small. I mean, to make curves. So you're just gonna be able to see mostly curves that are like this. And with a five and a half inch block, you start cutting up some of these curves and you got a whole bunch of seams going on over here that, and this doesn't even have that much seams as compared to before. Like yesterday's block, it's just a disaster of seams. <laughs> so I like this one better than this one. And I still like the third day the best. So I have had a lot of fun doing this. This, this final week has been challenging. Um, if I were to be doing 12 inch blocks, I feel like I'd have a little more leeway. It is what it is. So who knows, maybe I'll come back and redo. I don't think I need to redo this block, but certainly this block. I don't like that block. <laughs> Let me know how it went for you if you were doing this or if you were just watching. I'm going to be putting together my quilt next week. I'm still leaning towards doing four different or four um, vertical quilts that are going to be this wide. That's what I'm leaning towards. I may change my mind. If you want to watch me put this together, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and uh, you can watch that process and you can watch all the other fun stuff I got going on on this channel. I had a lot of fun doing this. I had a lot of fun doing these videos. I hope you appreciated it. I hope you had um, at least at least it was interesting for you to watch the process and see what was going on. Maybe learn something also. I do. I really appreciate you watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>